Hi Capricorn, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Capricorn, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see you coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Terrible. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards, and I'll pull your affirmation for today, and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. All right, so a little bit of resistance. You got the Five of Cups, and you got the Seven of Swords. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you, in order for you to be free, in order for you to dream big and conquer big, you first and foremost have to let go of some limiting beliefs. Now, these limiting beliefs could be money blocks, energy blocks, love blocks, but they've accumulated. Right now, they're, they're taking its toll. Like you're spending a lot of time thinking of something that you may not have, opposed to thinking something that you do have. And whenever we do that, you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, and it's totally unnecessary. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and Source is telling you right now, Clear the energy, let go, right? Focus on things going right. Dream big, conquer big. You can do this. This is your birthright. You are meant to be rich. You are meant to be happy. You're meant to be with your soulmate. But it all starts from your perspective. You know, is this the most beautiful day or is this the day that, you know, is a challenge? You know, you can turn your, your challenges into, into possibilities, into, into uh, your problems, into sol solutions. If uh, the perception is that everything is happening for you with a lesson, right? And that's what Source wants you to focus on right now. Let go to receive. Now, you got the World card and you also have the Four of Cups. Uh, right now, there's some travel on the horizon for you as well. This is exciting news. Uh, right now, Source is telling you to go and really find beauty and simplicity during this travel find you know joy bliss passion on this travel let go have fun do you you know be your genuine authentic self sometimes we got to get out there and just kind of do us and feel good and that's what's going on here your angels want you to let loose and kind of you know do the things that make you happy at the end of the day you know we don't work to live we live to work right uh, excuse me we don't live to work you know north american way we work to live and you know it's like balance, right? So a lot of, I can see here that you're spending a lot of time on your work, on your career, on all these beautiful things, but you know, you got to find some time for yourself. And I do see here, your angels are telling you to walk towards your inner being right now, because there seems to be some sort of, you know, confusion. There seems to be like, you got to find, you know, ways to celebrate the small victories, right? And when you are focusing your awareness on giving, giving yourself a pat on the back, you know, slowing it down, smelling the roses, finding joy and strength and simplicity, these things will get rewarded by the universe and a lot of uh, new opportunities will present themselves to you. And that's what your angels want you to focus on right now. It's just really, you know, slowing things down a little bit. You know, you've been doing so good. You're go, go, go. You're crushing it. But to slow things down and get back to the basics and a lot of good things will come from that. Now, very interesting. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Pentacles. And this is about long-term investments, long-term investments coming your way. Now, these investments are going to be paying dividends. And right now, Source is telling you that be the voice and not the echo. That really means like do what you truly want in your life. And don't, don't, don't just do something that you feel like you should. But, you know, understand that these investments come when you're actually following your passion. Money is a byproduct of your passion. I'll give you an example. Like if you don't like cars, but, you're but your neighbor makes, you know, a, a large amount of money being a mechanic, you know, don't be a mechanic. It, you, it's not sustainable. If you don't like getting your hands greasy, it's not going to work. Same thing here. If you feel like, well, I always like animals or I always like, you know, uh, uh, writing or I always like singing, but I feel like there's no money in that. Yes, there is. If you take one look at me, I'm doing tarot reads on YouTube. If you would have told me I'd be doing this, I also sell pet supplements. I love dogs. I day trade. I love analytics. I like charts. You can do something you love, but it just takes you taking a leap of faith and having the vision of that it is achievable. You know, I remember like when I first wanted to pivot online, I had the vision of, you know, being able to day trade, sitting on a beach with a laptop and making tons of money. And, you know, we did that for two years. Alicia and I, we traveled the world and we crushed it. And, you know, we, we found out no, no place like home, right? So your angels and guys are telling you the same thing. There's a lot of new opportunities, fresh perspectives, you know, a lot of cool things about to take place for you. Uh, but it all starts with a vision, right? That vision is imperable. 
All right, now you got the moon, dream, education, ascension, love, and celebration. Major celebrations is what I'm picking up. Celebrations that are going to make you a lot of happy, and they're going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of unity, a lot of love into your life, right? And right now, Source is telling you these celebrations take place when you're focusing on progress and not perfection, because when you're focusing on progress, you're not worried about failure or rejection. Like, for example, focusing on progress, imagine if you wanted to start a business you're telling yourself i'm going to start a business and i'm going to learn as i go focusing on perfection you're like i don't want to lose my money i better not make any mistakes right i've been there you don't want to do that even when you when it comes to dating someone focus on progress is telling them you know uh, i'm going to ask this person on a date and what's what, the worst thing they can say is they're not interested but focusing on perfection you're like what if they reject me right so you know focusing on progress is not being attached to an outcome and that outcome is really not fun to even begin with and detaching from that focusing on the journey and really the experience and, and the, and the uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? On the, really just on the path that you're going down, you know, just enjoying that path, which is really w what the juice is about. That's when uh, you'll notice a lot of significant progress being made. Now, very interesting because you also have ascension and dreams. So you can expect to have some vivid dreams. And these vivid dreams are going to paint a picture. And that's how your angels and guides are going to speak to you through dreams, feelings, and images. And Source is telling you right now, your vibrations attract your tribe. In this dream, you're going to really feel like you're connecting with someone. This person you may know in the fifth dimension. You may know them in another lifetime. Or you may connect with them right now. But your angels and guides are going to bring you closer to someone. It could be someone romantic. It could be a friend. It could be even someone like <laughs> you may even know from a, a another lifetime right it could have been your 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 child your your you could your parents it could have been someone and they will come in a different form in this lifetime so one lifetime for example, they're your mother. In another lifetime, they're your child. I know how crazy that sounds, but that's how it works. One lifetime, they could even be your dog, your cat. I know how crazy this sounds, but this is really how it works, right? So Source is letting you know right now to expect this and be excited for this energy. Now, speaking of excitement, there is an energy here that I do feel like Source wants you to focus on. You got the four of pentacles and you also have temperance. And this is your angels communicating with you right now, letting you know that there is a vast amount of wealth just waiting for you to manifest. And right now, Source is telling you to choose your thoughts wisely, right? Choose kindness over judgment, for example. No comparison, no judgment, no nothing. Because right now, there's a large amount of wealth waiting for you, but it requires your vibration to be, you know, entangled with happiness. Because happiness is the key that will unlock this wealth. This wealth could love come in the form of a bonus, inheritance, promotion, lottery win, but in order for it to work, remember, you need a key to unlock it. That key is for you to be focused and not focusing on anything you don't want. And that's why it's so important right now. Your angels are telling you to make sure that you clear any sort of doubt, any sort of energy. And remember, like, do everything you want to do with passion or don't do it at all. Find excitement, find joy, find bliss, have fun in your life. And that is really the secret sauce to, to unlocking this abundance. All right, Cap, now let's get some money and some love into your life. All you got to do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section. That's how you quantum entangle with the energy of abundance and let your angels and guides know you're ready. You have to feel these words and you feel these words by breathing life into them, right? Really, really, you know, when you write this down, really quantum entangle with this energy. So your affirmation for today is, look at this one. The universe has a plan greater than mine. Yes, it does. The universe has a plan greater than mine. Write that down in the comment section. Give this video a like. You are acknowledging right now that the universe has a divine source intervention and divine timing at play and a lot of good things it will bring you. The universe has a plan greater than mine. You are not second guessing this. You're going with the flow and you are uh, 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 really just embracing, welcoming and commanding this. The universe has a plan greater than mine. Write that down in the comment section and let your angels and guides know that you are ready. All right, Cap. Now, final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what the final message is. Create space for new love. All right now they say, when a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it, right? And what that really means is, you know, a lot of times we make up excuses for why we settle. We're in a relationship that's not romantic. And we're like, oh, better than nothing. We're at a job that, you know, does not fulfill us. Oh, you know, at least it pays the bills. You are meant to have it all. Right now, Source is telling you, do not justify anything. If something is not working, it's not working for a reason. And don't try to force or effort it. You got it. Life, life is, is supposed to be simple, right? So Source is telling you right now, 
if you are doing something and you don't want to be doing it, you know, pivot and change course. You don't keep doubling down and tripling down on something that's not paying dividends. It should be in alignment with your soul. Like, for example, look at these words, love, happiness, joy, passion, bliss. All those felt good, right? Because they're in alignment with you. Now, look at these words, jealousy, animosity, hate, anger, pain. Oh, they feel good, right? Because they're out of alignment with you. In alignment, breathing air, ah, feels good. Out of alignment, holding your breath. Whoop, doesn't feel good. See where I'm going with this? If something feels like it makes you tense, you got to let go of it, stop justifying it, and clear the energy. All right, Capricorn, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.